ないこの俺が人間なんだよあー Alright, so in this one, we are going to be going over the game press tier list that is now updated with the new Goku and Vegeta, the new Sword of Hope trunks, everything that has come out with this last update of the 1800, can you speak, Z Power banner of every single、uh, new sparking, three times the Z Power of every single new unit.、Uh, personally, just in that experience, I've garnered from about 600k Z medals to about 1.3 million. So, If that tells you how deep I went in on these banners, yeah, I went about 70 to 80 to 90k deep.、Uh, I honestly can't remember how much. Just got a 9 star Goku Vegeta and have an 8 star Sword of Hope Trunks. So that's what really matters here. But yes, we're going to be going over it. I've been tagged a million times already、uh, of people just asking,、hey, what's your thoughts? What's your opinion? What's your take? Haven't looked at it fully. I looked at the top part and I kind of liked what I saw. I kind of was shocked by what I saw, but I kind of liked what I saw. And just remember, Game Press is a forum, basically like any other. Like when I make a tier list, when this guy makes a tier list, when the JP player makes a tier list,、uh, these are all their own opinions, their own experiences. Every single experience in PvP will be different. You might think Android 18 is Z tier because she fucked you up three matches in a row. Well, a lot of people think Android 17 just shits on her and both aren't Z tier, right? Like it's based off your experience. Based off your、uh, usage rate of them and then against them, all these factors which you cannot calculate to just one thing. So, if you don't agree, that's fine. Also, this way my、uh, light is standing up is so botched, it's not even funny, but I'm not gonna fuck with it because it's fallen down a million times. I'm sure that was hilarious in the other video, but let's get started. So, game press tier list updated, right? LF Super Saiyan Blue Goku slash Vegeta placed in Z tier, okay. Sword of Hope Trunks placed in Z tier, okay. Cell down to S. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution higher in S. Gogeta's out of Z. Interesting. And many tiers saw the bottom half drop. Over 20 units removed altogether, okay. Broly placed in S tier as Masu、uh, slash Black placed in S. S, I think there, these two should see a drop to tier 1 after the boost feature wears off. t h e n incredibly tanky at the moment. Yeah, remember,、uh, the boost feature is raw stats, by the way. So, right now, the Goku Vegeta,、uh, you know, every single new unit basically that came out with these banners is getting 20% to attack, damage inflicted, right? Not even just anything particular, like damage inflicted, kind of like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's plat, which is damage inflicted, and 15% to overall defenses. So, that's ultimate special move. And blast and strike, right? So it's everything. They're getting bigger boosts. So, with tier lists, just take that into account.、Uh, I do think it does affect Trunks more than Goku Vegeta, but we'll get into that once we start looking at the full tier list, right? But yeah, he would rate Goku Black and Zamas to、uh, tier 1 after this because, again, the tanking really matters for tanky units and the damage doesn't really matter as much for damage units. But we'll explain this as I get into it. And then, I mean, let's get into this. Let's just look at it. I have some takes that I saw. And、uh, I have some takes that I have that I don't know if you guys will contest, but we will see. So, same things as normal, but they are rating the new Goku and Vegeta at 9 stars and the Sword of Hope Trunks, I assume. But what are they rating the Broly? Are they rating them at 9 as well? 1% ban. Okay, so they're rating them at 9 as well. Interesting. All right, so let's look at this. Goku and Vegeta, I do think undeniably as. Hello? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I do think undeniably, at the moment, they are number one. If you really, really want to deny it, I would say they're number three at worst.、Uh, they do everything. They're double advantage basically at your will.、Uh, you can't really fuck up with them because you're actually tanking decently because the boost, which does help them because you know, they're not meant to the tank. And they're, you know, I ran full power freeze earlier. Now, this video is happening actually before I record that, but. I ran full power Frieza, and I'm sure I'm getting clobbered by Goku Vegeta's, and I'm a yellow full power Frieza with like crazy Z abilities, optimal equipment. Like, I have crazy stuff on my full power Frieza. I know I have Z pluses all around. I have someone expert, like, telling me how to do fucking equipment. Like, shout out to Dondre. And I have everything, right? And I'm getting clobbered by a purple Goku, not even Vegeta, obviously, who is basically a.、Uh, he gets advantage as like a. He's a red type, right? And then, uh, dice to greens, obviously. 
with that, uh, they should be number one, right? You have incredible healing. Uh, if you start a combo off with Vegeta, you're probably going to heal about 20% because you could swap into Goku back into Vegeta. That's 10% each. Then you're stacking blue card damage infinitely uh, every swap and out, in and out. That can't be canceled. Uh, you know, they are going to nuke you. Goku's blue card is crazy. Vegeta's blue card does a lot of damage by, like, blue, uh, Goku's more just because that vanish back, you could have that vanish gauge recovery equipment as well because it is Goku Vegeta for Goku units. And that, on top of that uh, blue card, which is always doing that vanish back, what is it, 80%? It's insane, right? Uh, definitely one of the best units in the game. I'm glad a new feature is going to make a unit one of the best units in the game because if it didn't, we'd have a UI Goku situation where it was good for like a month. But clearly this tag, Goku and Vegeta, is not just going to be good for a month, right? Like, they fulfill a lot of roles. Uh, they make God Key have their purple, finally, by assuming no way's running these guys on God Key. Probably run, like, a PPR, Pro Pro Blue, any setup, really. You could run these guys literally anywhere because of the leader update, and that gives them even more value. They're kind of just like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Gogeta 4 and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, pre this banner, you see them everywhere. Now you see these guys everywhere. They are much deserving of number one in the game. Hands down to me, uh, especially after getting to nine stars, right? Then Trunks. Uh, okay, so Trunks, I'm not the biggest fan of, and I do think Trunks is getting a lot more help from this boost feature than Goku Vegeta. So with defense units, it's very much more optimized to get more tanking percentage than offense. Now, to explain that, it's that you want to build your unit if you're going to build a kit, uh... Well, not if you're gonna build a team you want to build them kind of more offense like he's a melee type right so i'm gonna build him offensively well he has the cut already built into him so if you're thinking soundly he has about what 30 percent 40 percent cut uh just generally the thing is with that and he's building up cut 10 percent each time uh you know card is using all that kind of like great chunks does the thing with that is that cut he's building up Remember, he's getting 15% raw defense. That means he's multiplying it. So with the more cut he's building up, the tankier he looks. It's the same thing where he said uh, Goku and Zamasu, Goku Black and Zamasu, uh, they look better because of how tanky they are now. It's the same exact thing with Trunks. He looks a lot more tankier than he will be in two weeks when the season you know, does end and then he's not boosting you anymore and then whoever else comes out is. But I will not take that away from it. He can do incredibly long combos. I don't think he hurts that much. It is the first strike, kind of like Green Broly, or the first strike and Blue actually for Broly, but the first strike that Blue is gonna do, uh, that Blue Trunks is gonna do more damage. But I don't think he hurts that much. He's good at farming rushes. Um, when he's last man standing, he can go neutral when you pop his ult for 10 counts. He has good sustainability with the Rage Trunks type mechanic. I don't personally think, by the way, uh, this Trunks is gonna age that well, just because he has, he's. He's Rage Trunks, just amplified, right? The yellow Rage Trunks from second anniversary. He's him, but amplified. Uh, I don't think the Trunks can age that well. If I were to put him somewhere, I have made stars. I've been trying to use him. You know, I've been running Goku Vegeta 10 times more, 100 times more, honestly. I've been trying to use this Trunks. He just seems to get clobbered by Goku and Vegeta. Now, I know that's hard to compare, but it's like, if this is number one, then this is number two. I would hope my number two is not getting shit stopped by my number one. Like, it shouldn't even be in the same tier if Goku and Vegeta are shit stomping trunks, right? And if I'm having both of these at nine stars, my Goku Vegeta is doing 60 to 70% to this guy in three cards, like a strike, strike blue. And it's not that uncommon to have a blue card with Goku Vegeta because, you know, the green on each one, you're drawing a blue card. That's two blue cards already on top of natural blue cards and just maybe other main abilities like Revival Gohan's second main ability. Uh, that's another blue card, right? I just think trunks is he fits where he should be i think i just think goku vegeta should be like a tier in their own like they don't they don't have someone that measures up to them truly like i don't see a scenario where you think any other unit is close to goku vegeta i just don't see it at least right now with the boost you know maybe after the boost they might fall down a little bit to where they actually are matched up by these other units below them but for now i just don't see it uh trunks is deserving of z if I were to put him somewhere, I'd put him in the bottom of Z below uh, uh, Puddle Gohan there, right? And personally, I think Puddle Gohan probably is number three, but that's just me. FSK, I would put lower. He's overrated. Uh, again, relied on support. I just don't value him as much as other people do, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't value him as much anymore, right? He's just, he's relying on support, and a unit that's reliant on anything else is usually 
not the greatest because once that reliance is gone, then what are you gonna do, right? Goku and Vegeta aren't relying on help to do their crazy damage. They're doing them the self. Uh, Trunks isn't relying on anybody to start tanking. He just wants, you know, someone else to get hit or to get hit to build up his tanking, to build up everything. But it's not like he's relying on anybody else besides himself. FSK is, right? Rival Gohan, uh, straight up, he's a liability at this point, right? You have Trunks, who's doing the same thing as Great Vegeta with that uh, 30% to uh, revival HP down when he kills a revival. You have Goku and Vegeta, who are taking two balls and destroying two balls, which is probably the best mechanic. That's probably what Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should have had. Uh, you know, all these other anti-revival units, maybe you're not seeing them as often because Goku, Vegeta, and uh, Trunks are out, but they still exist. Evolution Blue still exists, Cell still exists, Gogeta 4 still exists. There's too many anti-revivals to not call Gohan a liability. Genuinely, I prefer if people started using Goten. Like, I get it, maybe he doesn't flow that well with Goku, Vegeta, because he's blast-based, but I mean, look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Gohan, there is so many negatives to Gohan, at this point, it probably isn't even worth running. You know, I made that video, best team in the game. Thinking about it now, I've been running into people that are just shit stomping with Goku Vegeta. I'm just dying in Gohan one card, like one combo, one card sometimes. And it's just like, God damn, like, what do I do against this? And Michael wants six stars, right? This is the same stars they're rating him at. And it's like, yes, he can do that crazy shit. But what's more common, a Goku Vegeta doing that crazy shit or a Gohan doing that crazy shit? They're, they're not in the same tier. Again, like I said before. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I think should be, I think this should be, by the way, just my order of Z tier, because, you know, that's why we're here. Goku Vegeta, um, Gogeta 4, which I'll explain, <laughs> I'll go over, rather, uh, why the fuck he's not in Z tier. Uh, future Gohan, because he gained a lot of usage because of these new units. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and then Revival Gohan. That'd be my top five, right? Well, top six. I think I named six. Whatever. Uh, and then... Trunks is the lowest, so top six, right? Um, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, still crazy value, still can go neutral. He can one-shot Goku Vegeta. He can get one-shot by Goku Vegeta, but still a crazy tank, still a crazy unit. Just step down a little bit because there's two purples above him, obviously. Then a future Gohan uh, should be respected more. I don't even know why FSK is this high, honestly. Just I would plop FSK out of here and then put future Gohan in that third spot. You run him on future, you run him with this Trunks, you think your Trunks is going to hit hard now? Your Trunks is going to fucking nuke with Future Gohan. Like, you can't downplay that. Uh, you could run Future Gohan again any spot in the entire game. He is the best support unit in this entire game, probably, because his support's unconditional. He gets hit, 25% to your allies. That's insane, right? Like, you have Zenkai Frieza, who's a very good support and holding a blue. The thing is, uh, Zenkai Frieza doesn't have endurance, doesn't have the longevity, I would say, of Future Gohan, given, you know, anti-endurance does exist. You still have that disruption Future Gohan has that's just better than uh, Zenkai Frieza at this point. So I would rate Future Gohan actually uh, third. And I know I shit on him a lot because I just don't like the character, but he is a top three unit in the game to me at least. Then S tier. Okay, so S tier is interesting. We gotta put our leg up for this one. Evolution Blue Vegeta. No. I would put Gogeta 4 uh, in Z, but we'll go over him here. Gogeta 4, I would put number one Z. Or number, see, number one S on this list, at least, because they're probably not going to bump him up. Let me just... I'm curious, actually. Despite his role being primarily defense, he can output a tiny amount of... Okay, no, I want to see why he's lower. That's what I want to see. Three stars, team problems, never... Well, we're not talking about him at uh, three stars, so I'm going to ignore that part. At seven stars in most instances... Okay, while Super Saiyan 3 is playing a huge advantage over him with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, six stars. He closed the gap significantly with Super Saiyan 17 as the main GT. Wait, what? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Green is an excellent all-around unit that controls the combo combat uh, loop very effectively, but simply needs a few limit breaks to really shine. You're telling me the guy that goes neutral for about 70% of your matches... 70% of the match needs more? Really? I've seen Goku and Vegeta get one shot by Super Saiyan for Gogeta. Obviously, that's like on ult, but it's like... Like, that's a scenario you have to factor in. Like, he can do that. I've seen Trunks get one shot by his blue card. Obviously, the first life, but like, still, that's that's a thing. Okay. Um, I personally disagree. Uh, I think they're just very much overrating Trunks, and... Goku Vegeta, I don't think they're overrating them, but 
Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta being lower than FSK doesn't make sense to me whatsoever, especially when your main new unit that's literally right above him is blue, and you're not running these two together. You're not running Sword of Hope and FSK together. They're not meant to be run together. And if you do, honestly, you're just fucking yourself over because there's no real synergy there, honestly. Uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta should definitely be Z tier. Just, if not, at least the bottom. Like, his value did not decrease. I understand being green is, like, scary right now, but he still has the insane value of going neutral four fucking times. One on his own uh, choosing, you know, obviously they're all on his own choosing, but, you know, they're cover change neutrals. And then he has the 8% cut, given you can't tap it out. Uh, even at six stars, he can still one-shot these new units uh, when he goes neutral. That's just... It's just a reality. I just think he's being downplayed a lot. Evolution Blue, I'm surprised, shocked, uh, stunned why he went here. I get it. God Key got a buff. I understand that. The thing is, it's a strike-based unit. Evolution Blue, while he does have decently equal stats... And he does do general damage afflicted. He still is a more blast based unit. He just, that's just what he does, right? You want to charge step into blast. You want to do a charge step into a green into a blast and then blah, blah, blah. You just want to do these maneuvers to get his uh, damage ramped up quicker and quicker and quicker. And while I do think he is great, I don't think he is higher than some of these units he is uh, currently above, especially Super Saiyan Gogeta. Green Broly at nine stars. Putting him above Bojack is interesting. I do think the uh, ability of Bojack, you know, with the Rising Rush maneuver that he can offer with the Rival Gohan on movies, and yes, I know I just said Rival Gohan is a liability, but, you know, he has that offerance regardless of Rival Gohan being there. It's just that you want Rival Gohan because, or an Endurance unit, rather, uh, just because that uh, Rising Rush he can kind of swap them out of because five counts down when he's in and they rush... Both at nine. I do value Broly a lot. He is obviously the best green for movies. Bojack's the best red for movies. If I were to be thinking in a weird manner, I could see it. I could see it, but I just don't feel it. I feel like Bojack has more presence of maybe not scariness, but if I built my Bojack defensively, and again, you saw that video. Like, if you didn't see that video, go check that video out, the PPR team. Uh, you can see, like, my Bojack's not taking damage from blue units from any unit. Like, he's just not, and that's a thing that matters, right? Like, if I build my defense unit correctly as a defense unit, he's going to be defensive. Broly can do crazy strike damage, do crazy blue heart damage. He's basically the green transforming kid trunks, just modernized and good, right? He doesn't have to transform, he just exists. Uh, he has crazy second unique there where he just ramps up his own damage, his strike damage, his blast damage ramps up per the enemy using a striker blast his blue card damage ramps up with them using a blue card he heals when they pop a green card like it's insane right and that's unconditional that's forever but i do think bojack allows more sustain for a team so i put bojack above and i know it's not that serious because it's literally one spot but i do think it does matter if people are debating like should i summon i'm looking at you know green broly so high and it's like is green broly better than bojack i don't think so personally just for what the team wants you don't need more damage on a movie setup, and I don't think they're factoring Freeze Force into this. And if you are, you, again, don't need more damage. You have great damage on Freeze Force already, right? Even though he is a core there, he's not better than Bojack because of that, because movie's obviously a better team. Uh, Purple Cell, greater than Fusion's Masu. Honestly, I'm going to have to disagree. I do think me, myself, and a lot of people overrated Cell. To say he's bad is a uh, false statement, but I would say Cell definitely isn't as good as we thought. Now, his anti-arrival is crazy. It is probably the second best, if not the third best, with Gogeta Force being the best and then maybe Evolution Blue right next to it, and then Cell probably being third at that point. Maybe even Goku Vegeta's above it, but Cell still is a cracked unit. He still does more to hybrids and Saiyans, and both of those just did come out. Um... At six stars, though, Fusion's Monster just takes the cake. He does way too much damage, way too much uh, tanking. He does everything, Fusion's Monster. So I would rate Fusion's Monster above Cell. Blue Goku. Is it just me or is I? Do I feel like he's aging? I don't know. Um, obviously, his value increases with the blue and purple setup that you can run with Goku Vegeta, but are you really running that setup? Like, do I see that set up? I'm not really seeing God Key. I'm seeing movies. I'm seeing Vegeta Clan. I'm seeing Future. 
I'm not really seeing that. It was not as often as I used to, at least. Like, I'm not seeing Evolution Blue Vegeta anywhere. And I know the usage of a unit does not determine its value, but, like, I'm not seeing these guys. And I feel like Blue Goku kind of fell off, but he does have that synergy, so I guess making him this high kind of makes sense. It's not... I just don't agree. I just feel like he's fallen a tad bit more than uh, lower than Fusion Tomasu. He definitely is still a good unit, but I think he has fallen down a bit. Yellow TKP. He is always nullifying endurance, and every nullify endurance unit like got ten stocks up with them uh, releasing this sort of hope Trunks and Future going on the same banner. Obviously, both having endurance, uh, you know, with Trunks being on the correct team, and Future going on having endurance as well. Yellow DKP definitely has good value. Uh, I would lower him a little bit, but he still has good value for sure. Goku, uh, Sword of Hope Trunks does exist. Hybrids still don't have their green, but you're not really running into hybrids as a thing. Goku still has value. I think he could be lowered a little bit. Uh, Bardock. <sighs> Wish I could just chuck something. I mean, I could chuck that. This made of glass, by the way. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's made of glass, so I can't chuck this. But Goku. Nah. Um, I'm not Goku, a Bardock. Bardock, look, I get it, Super Saiyans is very good if you're getting crits, but if you're not getting crits, you're getting one comboed, you're dying. Bardock should be the bottom of the vest here. You're a great individual unit, but your team is ass. Um, your team is ass. You don't get crits, you lose. Genuinely that simple. I know people are gonna say, oh, Super Saiyans is so great. No, 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 no. The crits are great. If you could run those crits on any other team in the game, you would, you would not use Super Saiyans. How that works. Bardock is great. A little bit aging, a little bit, barely, small bit, but Super Saiyans, not a real team. Not a real team, don't like it, don't agree with it, don't like it. Kid Buu, I would say no. I would say full power Frieza should be where Bardock is. Um, Kid Buu is very good, but again, Kid Buu is in the same boat as Cell where he's a little bit overrated at this point. I do think Kid Buu has value but I don't think Kid Buu has the most insane value of, oh my god, like, I can vanish 37 times. Like, yes, he can. But you can get two-carded by, I mean, anyone up here. Like, any unit, maybe besides Bojack, can two-card a Kid Buu uh, mid-game. Like, I, yeah. Uh, Kid Buu, while a great unit, can get killed very quickly, especially at six stars, right? You need, like, a 14-star Kid Buu to not die in two cards. Uh, that's just how that works. Eight Vegeta... Why'd he move up? Vegeta Clan? Because that buff with the uh, Sword of Hope Trunks, I guess. Blue and red. Makes sense. And then, yeah, honestly, you could run, like, uh, blue, red, purple with uh, Goku Vegeta. And then fulfill uh, Trunks' requirements, obviously, of Vegeta Clan or future. Obviously, of Goku Vegeta, who is Vegeta Clan, right? Yeah. Um. Again, endurance. So any anti-endurance unit, it's going to have some stocks up. But, yeah, not bad. Carl Tomasu, talking about anti-endurance. You pop his main, you start, you know, nullifying endurance after you pop his main. But I would say his value goes up because Future went up. Just makes common sense. Full Power Frieza, again, should be where Bardock is. Uh, the best yellow right now, just because how the meta is, to counter out the meta. Not the best yellow in the fucking game, but the best yellow to counter out the meta yellows. Which, again, you're seeing, uh, you know, Revival Gohan, Sword of Hope Trunks, and Future Gohan. That's two Endurance units and a purple. That's literally three free units for you to try to kill. You have that uh, ability to always nullify endurance. Take your advantage, right? Full Power Frieza does have that. Full Power Frieza is able to run on multiple teams. If you really want to run anything that's more synergistic, you probably want to run Frieza Force, but you can't run them anywhere. You're nullifying endurance. Anybody nullifying endurance goes up. Just how that works. LF Piccolo, a little bit slow, makes sense, and can get shit on by Goku Vegeta early on, so I do agree, but still a good unit nonetheless. Fat Boo, he locks in. God Topo, he increases sub count. And God Key went up. Okay. <laughs> uh, Namek Goku, they're rating Namek Goku players as I would probably, if not a little bit better. If you're good with Namek Goku, he could be top five. If you're mediocre with Namek Goku, this is where he goes. Purple Super Saiyan 4, he has the same thing as uh, Krupta's Masu, I believe. You pop his main, then he starts nullifying endurance. So, same exact scenario. It makes sense. Frieza, uh, I assume went up because this is pretty high for Frieza usually. Um... Yeah, that support, that synergy with the blue cards, you know, even if you want to do a Goku Vegeta run, you know, purple, purple, blue, purple, purple, red, 
uh, you can. Those blue cards with Goku Vegeta, obviously you have that double color advantage. You can run these, you know, double color setups of PPR, PPB, obviously the color teams, and kind of make it work because, again, you had that double color advantage setup with Goku Vegeta. You can run this Frieza honestly anywhere and just make it work out. Then Goku Black assist Zamasu. Well, Zamasu Goku Black is assist. Um, I don't like them. <laughs> just don't like them. One, because, okay, sure, they want to tank. What happens when they stop tanking? Oh, they gain nothing. Their peak damage is like 140%. And with that, they fall off tanking as the match goes. And they don't gain anything when they start falling off. So they'll start losing their cut, and they'll start gaining nothing. They fall off too quickly. Uh, again, he is right. The boost is saving them right now from being lower. Uh, I would honestly put them like mid-tier 1 to be nice to them. Even at 14 stars. I have a 13 stars. Uh, you're not seeing many differences from a 9 star to a 13 star. Because, again, they fall off pretty quickly. Uh, when most units could have one combo you or two shot you they're going to fall off by then, and then they're going to be the ones getting one two-shot with being a defense type, right? Vertigo. Is he the best yellow on movies? I guess so, right? Yeah. He is. So, he has good value there, I guess, but I don't like him personally. And then to keep going down, if there's any, you know, big discrepancies, I'll point them out here. Angel Vegeta below Majub. Angel Vegeta's low. What happened to you, my guy? Jesus Christ. Why is 17 above Angel Vegeta? Angel Vegeta goes neutral. And Zorg, sub count. And Vegeta Clan got above. Why is Angel Vegeta so low? I get it, Evolution Blue replaces him on Vegeta Clan. But what? Besides that, what else? Saiyans is still good. It's not like Saiyans got like washed to the fucking ground because of this update. And he's yellow. <laughs> and Goku Vegeta can't tank. Vegeta should be a lot higher. Fuck that. No, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I guess Andrew 17 is up because that locking capability of just, you know, okoing the uh, Goku Vegeta. But if that's really the only reason, then shouldn't every unit that has that capability be, like, you know, up there? I don't... There shouldn't be a difference uh, in that regard because Android 17 is not on the graded, graded, greatest and craziest teams. I was trying to fucking bind the two words together. Red Gogeta, oh, I'm not going to talk about you, you're just a joke. Uh, any big discrepancies, though? Gogeta blue below that red pickle. Okay, ah, I don't agree on that, but okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, doesn't see anything big here. Yajirobe, that low. Ah, ah. Green cards are really good for a lot of units, but okay. Especially, honestly, if you want to do the Goku Vegeta. Uh, giving them health from that Z-ability Yajirobe on top of just running Goku Vegeta on any multiple two teams they have, you're pretty set in those green cards, and those green cards are good, regardless if you're drawing the blue card with it, for Goku and Vegeta. Then tier two, I don't see anything big. I mean, that Rosé being tier two, like, wait, Rosé's below. Okay, that yellow Rosé has a lot of value because uh, if you don't have future Gohan, that's your sub option, right? Like, that's your future sub option. Rosé should be like, where green metal cooler is, you know, I, I mean, that yellow rosé is not bad at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that take. And then Brigamo's still low? Really? He has a crazy boost on top of, again, that Synergy Yajirobe. I mean, I did that video and I was shit stomping. Brigamo's still a good unit. Uh, purple rosé is down here. Wait, why is purple rosé down here? Any... Any unit that uh, fully mobilizes Endurance, like Purple Rosé and Yellow Full Power Frieza type of thing, should be high as hell. Why is he down here? I get he's replaced, but Tier 2? Next to UI Goku? That's a little bit interesting. Uh, when I say interesting, I don't mean it as a good thing, by the way. That... Yeah, th this is disrespectful to Rosé. Why is he so low? I don't get that at all. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, because that legitimately doesn't make any sense. You have multiple Endurance units, and you have an Anti-Endurance that can also do neutral damage on blue card. There. And he's tier 2, while the others are S tier? What? <laughs> I don't get that. Okay. Interesting. 
And then any other big things, Rival Goku in his place at tier 2 makes sense. EX Mai's tier 2? Huh? What? These EXs are at 9 stars, right? Wait, hold on. Let me... I have to make sure, because Goku is up there, right? So Goku, uh, Goku is at fucking 6 stars. He is not up there, by the way. EXs are at 9 stars. And no one has EX Mai at 9 stars. And even... Uh, dude, no way. What? an explanation oh my god how how is ex my down here ex my heals trunks heals herself manipulates sub count by unique and by uh what green card i believe and gives trunks damage and death buffs and key recovery how the fuck she's healing trunks you have a 9-star Mai. You're doing good blast damage. She legitimately does good blast damage at 3 stars. Like, that's not even cap. Like, I'm going up against 14 stars. Again, I did a video on this. Um, what? What? This is where I thought Frieza could be if they were being nice. What the hell? No shot. Nah, they did not use her. Yeah, no way they used her. They just kind of saw her kit. And even... Did you look at her kit? Healing, damage... Her own damage inflicted. Yeah, I, she does more damage than, like, Marizamasu when he's almost fully built up. Like, she's your early game uh, damage dealer. Like, between those three units, Marizamasu, Sword of Hope, and then herself. Like, she's your early game damage dealer. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't agree with that take. And then, nothing else here too important. Let's just see if there's any... Uh, Weird shit down here in uh, tier 3 before we wrap this up. That Galang should be higher. He is basically Blue Trunks baby version, but uh, okay. Interesting. And anything else here? Mm. Mm. I mean, there might be a few things here, but it's not that important to where it's like, oh my god, this needs to change, right? This man right here, the Super Vegito, could see him in a high S tier coming this week, but... Let me know what do you guys think of the Game Press tier list? Overall, not as interesting, uh, you know, discussion-wise, uh, debate-wise, I guess you would call it, not discussion-wise. Debate-wise, as I thought, I thought they overrated a little bit more units, but it seems like they just underrated a lot of units. You know, Gogeta 4 and uh, Evolution Blue shouldn't be in the same boat just because of how big Gogeta 4 has a core, while Evolution Blue has a core set up now. It's still struggling to make him ideal. Gogeta 4 is always ideal. Evolution Blue, while he's great individual, top three individually, he struggles to be his own on his own. He just needs a core around him that allows that, which he still doesn't have, but Gogeta 4 does, and Gogeta 4 is lower. Just don't get that take. Uh, they did put down a lot of units that deserve to go down, you know, Cell deserve to go down, Kid Buu. I don't know why Bardock's up here. I don't know who the Bardock simp is at uh, Game Press, but... They need to uh, reevaluate the team because it's not a good team. Uh, but besides that, nothing crazy. Again, Bojack Broly, I probably swap. Cells Monster, I probably swap. The anti endurance units, any that exist in this game, should have 10 times higher stocks. With you know, you have Full Power Frieza here, DKP, Zamasu. Two of them are always anti endurance. One is anti endurance on main, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and any anti endurance unit should have a lot more stock. Rose. Don't know what the fuck happened to you. I guess they forgot you down in the water down there. But again, let me know what you guys think of the Game Press tier list. Overall, it is fine. I think Trunks is a little overrated. I think uh, Goku Vegeta should be their own tier, honestly, just because how much of a menace they are. When you're comparing all these units to equal stars, they aren't comparable. They are literally on their own tier because they have double advantage and they don't struggle because of the boost. Uh, once the boost falls off, there'll be a lot more glass you know, not that much more glass, but a lot more glass to where you'll see their struggles. But right now, with boost, you don't see their struggles. You have to factor that in with the boost. But, again, let me know what you guys think of this tier list. And I'll see you guys in the next one.